What is going on everybody? It's your boy the Slot Train. Today I'm bringing you guys a little something new. This is going to be a new series that I actually want to continue doing and um, I hope you guys are really going to enjoy this for the people that do like Forza. Not just Forza, but Forza Horizon in general. And I know I've been slacking on the Forza Horizon video so I figured I'd bring this to you guys. And this is going to be a nice little series of just doing some drifting builds. I know a lot of you guys drift in Forza Horizon. And we're going to start off today with the Nissan Silvia Spec R. And uh, essentially what I'm going to be doing in this series is just finding a nice setup to use with the Nissan or any car in particular that you guys want to see. And um, I'm probably going to do the big three right off the bat, the Nissan Silvia, Supra, and Torino. And um, we'll get some nice little drift builds going on. And if you guys do enjoy this, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, leave a comment, um, do whatever you guys want to do. And uh, I'll make sure it gets seen for next video or videos going forward as well too. So um, I hope you guys do enjoy this. I've seen a lot of people do these little drift builds and they've been getting a lot of good feedback. I know Gunner um, has been doing them as well as Dr. Weeby and I will leave, um, I will get them to post their actual video, um, <clears throat> oh excuse me, I'll get them to post their video responses in the bottom and you guys can have a look at their builds and I guess if, you're, if you want to compare them, by all means you can do that as well too. So we're going to get this started here. This is a live commentary as well too. This is not something that I've been uh, already working on. So this is all new to me as well as it is to you. So we're going to take this car to the garage quickly. And uh, one thing I have to do before I do anything is take off this damn traction control. Oh, it is off. Okay, no. Never mind. Alright, so let's get right in here. We're going to get in this and we are going to do a nice little drift build. November 16th today, this is my recording. Early in the morning, probably it's 10.14 in the morning. I'm not going to do auto upgrade, never do that shit. Custom upgrades, I always start, always, by suspension, dropping it, and go straight to the rims. Oh shit, I forgot, this is Forza Horizon. Hate that, when you go back, one, one more by accident. Hate that shit. Alright, start out with the rims, see what we like. Uh, what's a good rim here that I like? What's a good rim? Gambala? Nah. They poop. What else we have? Uh, I'm looking. You always know you have that one rim that you like, but you can never find the damn thing. Volk makes some nice rims. I do like the rims in this game. They're actually a lot more detailed than Forza 4 is, to be honest. I don't want no chrome on this thing. Jesus. Uh, where are the? Oh, they, no. No, right here, right here, here we go. Here. This rim, for whatever reason, I absolutely love it. Um, this one and the FM10 are two rims that I absolutely enjoy racing with. Um, just for the look and the style of the rim as well, too. So we're going to pump these up to 18s. I know it's a little bit bigger than what you would normally find. Um, but that's all right, that's all right. So I think for this game, the grip does matter. But at the same time, I'm going to go with street tires, see how they pan out for the first few. Uh, my front tire width, I'm going to bring it up to the second one, and the rear, always up to the last, alright? So we're going to have some nice little sliding going on. Um, let's see what we can do with engines here. So, I don't know if I want to put the Skyline engine in it, or keep it... Let's see how much we can build up the stock engine to. Let's have a look at that first. Uh, alright, let's, let's do the performance first and see. So we're going to pump this right up, see how much horse we can get it to. What's it sitting at? 342, not a lot. Um, what are we at now? 687. See, that's the, that's what I like right there. All right, now this game you do need quite a bit of horsepower. I know it's a little unrealistic, but I didn't make the game, so um, let's see what we got for body kits here. I've never customized one of these cars before ever, so this is the very first time doing this. Um, that looks too Need for Speedish. Uh, you know what? I kind of like the Ings. The Ings front bumper looks nice. So does that one, but I like that little front grill on there. Let's get the engine a little bit more cooling power, you know what I'm saying? That wing looks ugly as fuck. Holy Jesus. I don't know if I want no wing or keep it. I'm going to keep it stock. Keep it clean. Uh, this back bumpers, they all look stupid. Except for the top secret. And... That one looks okay, I guess. I guess the top secret does it for me. Let's see what we got for side skirts. Um, let's go with another top secret in the hood. Probably some ugly hood too. 
Uh, it's all right. Let's let's put it on there. A little bit of weight reduction. So we got the engine taken care of. The body. We're gonna get the brakes on here. Now the sway bars. I don't really know. I don't usually. I'm gonna put on the first ones because I don't usually put sway bars. But we'll see how this affects it. I'm not gonna put the roll cage in. How much does this weigh? 25. We're gonna keep it at stage two just because it already weighs 2,500. And we want a little bit of weight to the wheels. And we'll put some differential in there. And this is it. All right, so that's my setup for the Sylvia. We're gonna test it out, and if we need to make adjustments, we will later. So it's always good in a drift build not to think that this is a finished project. It's never a finished project. Honestly, like in Forza 4, I'm still going back to cars and tuning them and tuning them and tuning them. And it's just, honestly, it's just, it's something that um, you can always adjust. Now, this game is a little bit more difficult, but I mean, you can edit other things like the tires, um, the tire width and stuff like that. And also the horsepower, different engines, you can uh, see what really fits for you. So right off the bat, I like to see how much power this has with the, just with the burnouts. And it seems like it has a nice bit. Um, it seems like it wants to slide quite a bit. Now, there's a little bit of oversteer to it. But I think if you get it hooked properly, it, it's kind of nice. This is a big corner to be drifting on, too. So this is a little bit harder. Yeah, you know what? I might need to put... I'm going to go back there and put on those uh, sway bars. Because I don't think this has enough... It's too much oversteer on the car. We're going to see if those sway bars are the problem. We'll have a look at that. Mm. Coffee in the morning. If you haven't done it, it's amazing. If you guys have, if you, if you guys don't drink coffee, if you drink tea, whatever floats your boat, I swear to God, it's awesome. Huh? All right, let's put on the full racing sway bar kit, and we'll see if that helps at all. I hope it does, really. I know a lot of people drift this car fairly well, and I know it's a, I mean, you can't really test the car on this track with the little oval, but you can just kind of see where, where the locking points are with the wheel, and you can kind of uh, just really tell by what you're feeling on the controller when it's drifting around this area, just a good feel, so you don't have to go out, go to your section that you want to drift, and then you get there, and you're like, oh shit, I forgot to do this or that, right, so. Um, Already, I can kind of feel that it's a little bit smoother in the drifts. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I do feel it. I'm not going to lie, I do. We're going to take this to the paint shop. We're going to drift right in here. Look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. All right, so we're going uh, to do a quick little paint on this thing. And um, after that, we're going to probably take it to Kettle Hills or uh, something like that. And we're going to do a little bit of sliding action going on. All right, let's paint this quickly. What do we think? What do we think? Ooh, that actually looks sick. I like that. Do a black hood. Um, I don't know what I want the worms to be. Let's go a little crazy. Let's do them blue. I like that. We'll black that out. We're going to bring the tint down just a little bit. And a nice little trick, if you want to see your interior better, you bring the tint all the way to 100% on dark. You bring it down to about 50 and you lighten the tent afterwards and you can actually see right into your car which is i thought pretty sick so we're gonna keep that and we're gonna add a few little decals just to make it my own and we're gonna take this thing for a spin because this thing is a beast all right um we're bumper we're gonna get my plates on here hopefully oh i do have my plates too all right we got my nice plate that was gifted to me by my boy thank you I forget your name. I'm very sorry, but if you do see the plate that you made, put it in the bottom below. Put your name in the bottom. All right, load this shit up. Most dope. This is made by my boy, bro, Taco. Thank you very much, bro. <coughs> shit. Bless me. My bad, man. Whew. All right. And you know what? I think we're good to go. So let's get out of here. Let's hit the streets. That sounded pretty gay, eh? Jesus. Alright. Now, I do miss this game, man. I haven't played this game for a little bit. I've been on Forza 4 a lot. I've been on Black Ops 2, hitting some zombies. And also, too, if you guys enjoyed uh, the live com of my zombies gameplay, check it out. If you guys haven't seen it already, please do so. Um, it's very funny, and I swear to God, you'll get a few laughs out of it, too. So, check it out if you guys want. Um, awesome, awesome zombies content coming your way, so... 
We're gonna wait for that. Now, let's see where exactly we are going on this trip. Now, you know what? I'm gonna bring it right into the city just because it is a very nice place to drift in. I'm gonna fast travel there. Yes, I haven't got all the damn signs. I know. Like I said, I've been slacking on this game. I haven't been playing it a lot. I honestly took a little bit of a break from it just because of the fact that it was kind of uh, not my game, really, but we'll see how this goes here. Whew. Jesus. All right, let's straight this thing out. I haven't drifted with a controller for a while now, and I'm doing this so that way you guys can kind of feel the same um, with these cars. Now the car does seem like it's alright. Uh, I'm gonna take it right up here. Yeah, the car's actually not bad to be honest with you. It feels like it does need a little bit less grip. And that's okay. As I said, you can go back to the car, make your adjustments that are needed, and then come back in game. We're gonna oh shit. We're gonna try not to get hit by these pedestrians. That's not good. Well, that's good. All right, so yeah, I mean, overall, I do like the car. Um, the only thing that I would change on this, which I will go back to later and change it, is just the tire grip. Um, I feel that it has a little bit too much grip on it, and I find that this should be running um, a stock tire pressure or a stock tire width on this. But that's just me, though. Um, okay, let's take this actually to one of the um, one of the box areas. Where are we here? Okay, so this is the outpost. Where is... I think it's over here, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's take this over here. Let's go into a little cockpit view, actually. I love drifting cockpit view in this game. Actually, it looks pretty dope. Oh! Shit. Man, if I could do this in real life, I'd be shit my pants right now. Just sliding. Oh, that was a nice little waltz out there. Oh yeah, I mean, this car is actually not bad, to be completely honest with you. We're going to see how this handles in the box areas, but I mean, other than that, I don't see very much wrong with the car, to be completely honest with you. Um, oh, here it is, right here. Oh, I'm dead. And I have turned off cosmetic damages just because I hate when I hit pedestrian cars. We're going to see how these do little 360s here. I mean, honestly, this car is not bad at all. Um, I haven't built one of these cars before just because of the fact that everybody usually drifts with the Sylvia, the Super, and stuff like that, and I didn't really want to be a part of that crowd where everybody drifts this car, you know what I mean? So I figured I'd just bring it out, show you guys my drift build, so if you guys are using this car, you guys can take what I have put into it and um, use it as your own and maybe tweak it if you want as well, too. So um, my next car that I will be doing is the Toyota Torino. And I think you guys will enjoy that. Holy shit. Yeah, see, this car is not really meant for this small, tight areas. This car, I think, my overall review of the car would be made for um, a little bit of a longer stretch area. Just because the first and second gears are not as, uh, I don't know if it's long or shorter. I think they need to be shorter, to be completely honest with you. And, um, I don't know, I just, I've never really liked drifting the Sylvia's. To be honest with you, I have not. And I don't know what it is about them. I just, I'm not a big fan of them. I'm really not. Um, I mean, I love my Mustang. I think that thing drifts like a tank, but I don't know. The car is all right. I would probably give this out of 10 on my personal opinion. This is my own opinion only. I don't want to get any hate for this. I'd probably give this car about a six out of 10 on drifting. And that's only because you can't really transition into these smaller box areas. Um, I mean, it's great for the longer stretch corners and whenever you're drifting through these areas, but when you get really into these these tight crevices in the boxes, um, at least for me, it's a little bit harder. Now, I'm finding right now that second gear may be the solution. I think that might be the problem that I need to be in second, but as I said, this is where you can fine tune your car and really learn your gear ratio. So you can find a gear that's suitable for each location that you're in, and that's when your car experience really comes into play and 
if you guys do use this setup and you guys find that it's suitable for different areas let me know let me know where this car is the best suited in and um, if you guys want to purchase this car right off the storefront I will put it up there for you guys so you can have a look at it I think I can if I'm not mistaken um, if I can you guys can follow my upgrade system that I've done and let me know what you guys think of this car and uh, look, just let me know what you guys think of the tune so thank you guys very much for watching this is going to be build series episode one and I'll see you guys for episode two thank you guys very much for watching it's your boy Slap Train I'm out